This disclaimer was copied without permission. Cheers, Quaffers, Castles, Wiggers, Sippers, and all other good people out there. Hopswatch here, and finally, I am back. So, what took me so long? Well, I have moved from one end of the country to the other, all the way from the capital of Copenhagen to the rural town of Tistel. A lot of peace and quiet here, not much going on, and that's exactly how I like it. So, that's the reason why I haven't been so active uh, lately. Uh, and now we're going to do something about that. Some videos ago, I told you about uh, a number of international brews that I would have for later re review. And that is what we're going to continue with now. So today we will have... The scenery was the view from the beach close to where I live. It is quite the change from Copenhagen and I thought uh, integrating the scenery in my videos would kind of give you a feeling of how stunningly beautiful the new place that I live is. A Brooklyn Defender IPA. I absolutely love IPAs. Maybe smelling it it's a bit already but not as strongly as I as I have experienced some beers to smell the second that you get the cap off. Well, bright yellow hue, bit like a pilsner. Oh, now I smell it. Now it it just rolls over you. Notes of vanilla, traditional notes also of uh, of um, aromatic hops. Um, but very laid back. This is for the blog. Remember to follow that if you read Danish. I always try running it through a Google Translate and if it makes sense let me know on Twitter. If it doesn't make sense let me know on Twitter as well and tell me what unintelligible results you were getting. Mm, some roses. It's, it's rather, as I, as I did mention before, it's, it's rather laid back. It's not one of the, it's not it's not an aroma, aroma bomb, but very nice uh, laid back odor, a bit of uh, roses, a bit of uh, oak wood and vanilla, a sweetness of vanilla. So uh, let's have a, let's have a sip at it. Not much foam. Oh, so this is hiding um, quite a lot of the aroma in the taste, which is, which is good because the, the most important thing is not how a beer smells, but very much how it uh, tastes. Ah, drinkable. I guess this is what we would call crushable. It, um, it, it is tempting to uh, to put it all down in one swig, but if you don't, you will see that there is especially some aftertaste there to, to give you a good experience. So uh, no, some nice dry notes of uh, pine wood at the back of the tongue. Mm. <sighs> some sawdust, I would say also pine, pine sawdust of fir. Mm, very fresh and definitely a beer that you would uh, want to enjoy chilled. And it's tingling and and cutting a bit in, in, in all exposed parts of your mouth. The, the gums, uh, the, the tongue, your throat. A nice quencher of thirst uh, while also providing a, a proper, I would say, a proper taste experience. So definitely, definitely a fool. This is a really a proper proper IPA. There's a kind of a bit of a uh, um, Nebengeschmack, uh, a by taste of, um, of peas. A bit to the side, a bit askew, not completely integrated with um, the rest of the beer. However, also subtle and some people would like it. It's a, it's a sweet note that um, 
that will be appealing to some people, uh, I would rather have done without it, and that would be the reason why this uh, this beer doesn't go any higher than the um, than the four stars. Yes, I'll keep it simple today. It's very important for me to uh, have some activity back on the channel and to, uh, for the time being, concentrate on uh, getting some beers through the review and then later on we'll see where, where it goes. I hope you're still keen on following my channel, channel even though the hiatus has been longer than I uh, wanted it to. Uh, and the story about uh, all the other issues that I've been kind of fighting with, uh, I might be uh, telling about that in a later video. However, this is primarily a beer channel, so um, I'll stick to the main theme for the time being. So that would be all for this time. Remember to follow me on Twitter and Untapped besides this channel. I also have a Facebook profile and a blog, and as I was already implying, those are in Danish. So you would need to uh, master that language to some extent to uh, be absolutely aware of what is going on there. Uh, however, if you would give it a watch uh, every now and then, I'd, I'd be pleased. Also, I would very much appreciate it if you would like and comment this video. Uh, share it and subscribe to my channel and it would please me even more if you would always remember to drink responsibly and until next time cheers <laughs>